The mayor of Moncton, George Rideout, has expressed his regrets over an incident yesterday in which the prime minister's wife was struck with a picket sign. It happened during a demonstration against free trade, privatization, and the closing of the CN rail shop in Moncton. The person who struck Mila Mulroney has not been identified. Paul Jones has a report. The RCMP poured over news tape of the incident looking for a picture of Mrs. Mulroney being hit. But so far, no one's been charged for assaulting the Prime Minister's wife. However, charges are pending against one man who was arrested after a hard hat was tossed at the Prime Minister as he left the meeting. Police took another man into custody, but he was later released. The mayor of Moncton said he was outraged by the incident. I think that anybody, no matter how frustra frustrated they are about the situation, they can't use that as an excuse, and they should apologize. In the mixed group of protesters, union members were the most vehement, and a spokesman said they can't be blamed for the incident. There was just a surge of people, and uh, uh, there certainly wasn't any intentions of violence, and if, if there was violence that happened, it wasn't by the members or the union people who was there. Yesterday's melee outside the annual meeting of the New Brunswick Conservative Party was the second ugly incident between the Prime Minister and Union protesters in New Brunswick. Two years ago in Fredericton, a group of disgruntled CN workers hurled their hard hats at the Prime Minister's car. The latest skirmish has also raised questions about RCMP security procedures. The forces launched an internal investigation, but won't comment until it is complete. Paul Jones, CTV News, Moncton.